three, two, one. I wanted to show you my hair like this because I call this dirty hair day. Where are my fine hair ladies at? Because I'm gonna tell you what my secret is for volume, all right? I wanna know what you do. Leave your comment right there. Leave it right there. I have tried it all. Every liquid, every gel, every haircut. And first of all, the best haircut is short for me because the longer my hair grows, the more it like splits in between and like looks real sad the longer it is. I get these gaps in the bottom that look kind of ugly. So I keep it as short as I can handle it because I also like to wear it, you know, back when it's dirty hair day, show off this giant forehead. But the thing is that I've tried curling irons. I've tried every trick. Then my hairdresser said, no more hot things. No more curling iron, hot rollers. You need to be very careful with the heat you put on your hair. Have you heard that? Or do you have fine hair and you said, screw it. The best thing that works for me is the curling iron and that's what I'm gonna go do. Leave that in the comments and tell me if you put it in a specific setting. And what do you do with the curling iron for this type of hair? I have a very old school solution. I'm gonna show you in a few, but I just wanna just make a point that I am not a professional hairdresser. I work on television every morning and I do my own hair. There are no makeup or hair people for reporters where I work. So I work out on the street every day. Sometimes I'm inside, but my hair has to look presentable. I gave up on it looking fabulous. That's for when I worked at Univision and I had hair extensions and someone did my hair, right? No, my hair like has to look presentable. That's why I need a good haircut, good hair color, and then the easiest tools ever because these hands cannot do hair, cannot do hair. Are you good with hair? Because I am not good with hair. Leave your comments for your hacks when it comes to hair, if you have found any. And while you're at it, just if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and let's keep it real together, okay? So go ahead and click right there. So as I was saying, I don't use hot rollers, I don't use anything hot because I blow dry my hair every other day and so I wanna protect my hair. So, what I do on Dirty Hair Day is something that I made fun of for many years when I was young. Because I have these cousins that are older than me that use this and I was like, oh my God, if she says Velcro roller one more time, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Well, guess what? Guess who's using Rolitos de Velcro, Velcro roller. By the way, in Puerto Rico, in the rest of Latin America, maybe you don't call them this, but we call them rolos, los rolos. And we swear by los rolos. And I swear by these Velcro rollers that come in this very fancy bag. Did I not tell you I was gonna keep it real? This is where they fit perfectly because the original packaging, that doesn't work, obviously. And you know, you take these off and you throw them in them, y ya. So this is what works for me. I, I also swear by this. Ay, Maria, I'm sorry. Tan lleno de pelo, they're full of hair. My apologies. But this is how often I use them. I'm gonna show you my technique for working. There they are. Ah, el paneo. Working with your hair. And by the way, if you love my t-shirt, which says Mami Songa, which in Puerto Rican, it means hot mama, I'll have the details for you. And then I have this one lonely large rollo, which I'm gonna tell you what I do with this one and where it came from. So you know how people are when you do your rollers, you grab your brush and you divide your hair in sections. That's how professionals do it. But I already told you I am not a professional. I need to hurry up. I'm doing this hair at like four in the morning because I work for a morning show. So this has to be efficient, quick, and this is how I do it. I start grabbing chunks of hair, right? Especially the sections that need help. You see how this has flipped? I wear my hair in a nice bob, right? So I find the hairs that are 
uh, flopping or are flipping up. And then this is where the volume goes. I did learn this from professional. Make sure that you're getting the top of the hair because that's where these rollers are gonna give you volume. As we say in Puerto Rico, you do this al garete. You grab pieces of hair, make sure that they fit in the roller. This doesn't have to look perfect, it just has to work, ¿verdad? We keep it real here. Do you have a technique? Do you separate your hair? And how many of you know what I'm talking about in terms of the, like I couldn't find a chunk right there, so I just grab where I can find hair. So I do it like this, and I always, instead of doing it low, right, I go high with the roller for the volume situation, right? So I do it like so, and then sometimes, I notice that there are parts that don't need the help, so I just leave it. Porque para qué pasa el doble trabajo? Why would you, why would you go through double trouble, right? If you don't need it, you don't need it. Then you go like this, and your whole hair is now up. See, I go high because my thing is for volume, not for curls. So for the person who one time commented, oh, I don't see your curls. I'm not doing this for curls. I'm doing this for volume. Porque yo tengo pelo muerto. I've got really fine hair. So see how professional it looks. It looks fantastic, right? And here is the other thing. How long do you keep these on? How long? Go ahead, tell me in the comments. And then subscribe while you're at it and tell your friends because we keep it real right here. And then sometimes I go, wait, I could have split this part, right? So I go like this, ¿verdad? Because that's the good thing about this. They're not hot, so you're not like, <laughs> no, no, you're not. So there you go, you go like this, and then, okay. And you go, because you can redo it, because these are Velcro rollers, and you're gonna keep them on for a very long time. This is how professional this tutorial is. So this is how I count my time. I put them in, before I do my makeup. So I do my makeup. Obviously, I'm dressed because there's no way you can put this t-shirt over these rollos. I do my makeup and I leave the house. I go to Dunkin' Donuts. Yes, looking like this. Don't judge. This is what feminists fought for, for my right to have a career and to look the best for said career by walking around town in my rollos, okay? In my rollers. I don't need to cover them up with a babushka or un pañuelo, no. Let your rollos fly. That's what Gloria Steinem believes in and Ruth Bader Ginsburg, I'm just saying. You know what I haven't told you? You know what I haven't told you? What to do with this. But wait a second. Then when you get to the location, I count it in terms of going on air. So if I'm going on the air, let's say at eight in the morning, I take these off at 7.30 in the morning, half an hour before, because if you have fine hair, you know that your hair will flatten in less than an hour. It's a struggle, it's a struggle. So make sure you hairspray it after and don't touch it. Now, this rollo. This giant rollo is from a different set. We all know it. It's a set that I don't have anymore. This is when I attempted to have long hair for the last time and I thought I could look hot. Uh, without knowing that I was just gonna look like I had very fine hair and little, very, you know, little hair. So there you go. And I grabbed this one for this, for the front part, right? Here we go. Planchalo ahí. There you go. Ah, huh? and you're ready. Yes, yes. Don't cover them, okay? Walk around in your rollos with pride. Do you? Do you drive like I do in broad daylight in these? I do, I'm not ashamed, and I hope you're not, ladies. Tell me in your comments, would you walk around like this? I do. I'm in full makeup, too. So, you know, I compensate with the face, but it doesn't matter. Look, I think I'm rocking the look. I'll tell you another secret. Let's talk about when you don't need an entire set, because that's very, very 1970s, 80s. You don't have to do the whole set. And you, how old do you find out? Because these are left. There's no science to this. Te sobraron esto. These are the ones that are left. So hey, you didn't need them that day. Your hair wasn't doing that bad. It's gonna be a good day. And then there are days, and here's my other secret, that you don't need a full set. You know what I'm talking about? The day where this side looks fantastic, but this one needs the help. So there you wear half a set. So you take these off. This one's always good to have. You take this one off, here we go. And you pull them, that's a technique to take them off. 
I'm sure some hairdressers like, Dios mio, that woman's gonna, she says she doesn't have hair, now she's pulling the Velcro like that. Okay, but I just wanted to show you the half set technique. Have I gone out like this? Yes, I have. These are my needs and this is what my career requires and I'm doing it. So I walk around with half the set, okay? This left side looks fabulous and this one needs help and you help it. How about it? You like this half technique? Tell me right there, leave me a message right there and subscribe. Okay, también, there are days where I told you, right? All you need is, you know that stubborn hair that's flipping on you? Down here, uh, in the back, and you go, oh no, this one is still not ready. You put it back in. No one needs to see it, but just make sure that you're hanging out with a coworker or a friend that will tell you, don't forget, you have a roller in your head. Que te quite el rolo. Because I may or may not have gone on the air with a random rolo in my hair. That, what did I do? Two minutes of that, and look, the hair looks great already. What do you think? I mean, it, it can look better, I know, but I already told you. I just need to look presentable. What do you think? Leave me your comments, tell me what you wanna know in this channel, how do you want us to keep it real, and go get these. I'll have a link for you for where you can find them, and they come in all sizes. A velcro.